Any advice to people in their early 30s with low T and low free T that will try with their wife to conceive after a year or two, but no suffers from low T syndromes and low sperm count? Yep. I deal with this a lot. So this is a big part is dealing with young guys who are still trying to have children. Um, sadly, most clinics will just tear you off your testosterone or never start you on it if you need it. Uh, they'll put you on Clomid and just say, hope for the best. I had one of these recently. Um, he had been, you know, had poor sperm parameters. He's 20, 28, something like that. And so we went ahead and talked about everything. He had already been started on testosterone recently by a clinic once every two weeks, of course, some you know, terrible protocol. They never told him it could suppress his sperm count even more. Um, so we had to have that discussion. That's always important. And most guys in the group know this is a risk. So it's good to go in knowing that. Um, but if you start on testosterone and you want to maintain, you know, you need to get a semen analysis ahead of time, in my opinion, just to get a baseline to see where you're starting from. And then I start TRT on these guys if they truly need it. I mean, unless you, know, you can get markers, right? Like uh, gonadotropin levels, LH, FSH, like let's say you've done a steroid or SARM cycle and your levels are plummeted. Well, you, that would be maybe a time to try Novadex or Clomid, you know, just for a short term to see if you can kind of restart things, but that's not most of the guys I deal with. In fact, a lot of these guys have actually sometimes elevated gonadotropins. I've seen a few where their FSH levels are in the high teens or twenties. It's like, well, then you don't need Clomid, right? That's not going to help you uh, probably. So start testosterone. I still like to dial them in on testosterone alone for at least six weeks, just to kind of see how they respond. And then we add HCG in, then we do periodic semen analyses to make sure and see, okay, did it come up from baseline? Or if you started with a good baseline, how fast is it coming down? And you could probably do that every, every six months or so and it'll be safe. If they're trying to conceive quickly, it's more, and they have crappy sperm parameters, that's when we add volatile stimulating hormone or HMG. If they're just kind of doing it for maintenance in the future, I think just stick with the HCG. And as long as your semen you know, parameters, your sperm parameters are decent, not falling too quickly, just ride that out um, and be fine. So it does get kind of tricky, but you just want to find somebody that's willing to work with you on that because it's hard when you have low T and you, know, you feel like crap and you don't want to have sex because your libido's tanked or whatever. You just don't feel good. You don't want to start taking Novadex or Clomid if you don't have to, because those actually usually don't make you feel any better. They may they may help the numbers, but um, there are ways to typically maintain fertility on TRT unless you have like true testicular dysfunction, right? Like if your testicles just aren't going to respond to HCG, well, that's a whole separate issue anyway, because there's that then you got to go into looking at rich sperm retrieval, cryopreservation, possible in vitro stuff in the, down the road. There's 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 no way to really boost that but you need testosterone anyway at that point you know what i mean so it's a it's a moot point so yeah you just need somebody that knows what they're doing with that mizumi is the number one product for acne problems on trt check out the products using the link in the description under this video